If you remember last time, I was casting the epoxy resin fill. And here is the final product, our cast epoxy resin fill to go into this space here. Initially, I was thinking to color the epoxy resin fill uh, by adding some pigments into the resin during the casting process. After a bit of thinking and discussing with colleagues, I decided that my fill was really thick because as you remember, the edges of the glass is very thick. So applying the pigments during the casting process into the resin may have been a bit of an uncontrollable process because I couldn't uh, really control um, how the pigments will be distributed within the resin. Therefore, I decided that maybe it's a better idea if I actually use acrylic colors, like the ones you use for painting, and apply the color on top of the resin after it was cast. I chose certain colors to experiment with. One of them is a green, a phthalo green. It's called blue shade. I have a blue, a cerulean blue hue. And if you look at the color here on the glass, you can see a little bit of yellow and a little bit of white, I think. Therefore, I have the Hansalo light and some titanium white. And I will be mixing all these colors together and I will be applying it onto the surface of the resin fill with some gloss uh, porcelain restoration glaze. We do not want exactly to match this color with the color of the glass because we want our visitors um, and our colleagues to be able to distinguish between the um, fill area and the original surface. So once I um, kind of find the color, then um, I have gloss porcelain glaze here. Glaze is the binder. I first actually apply it on this little sample and then I'll start painting our epoxy resin fill a little bit. So I'm taking some glaze and I'm mixing it with my color. And you also um, need to keep wetting your brush uh, because glaze um, also dries out. So you need to, to be able to apply it. You need to also keep it wet. It is important to um, evenly distribute the color uh, on the surface of the epoxy resin fill uh, because eventually this will affect the color of the fill uh, because it may either be too strong or too light, too weak. I'm happy now that my color looks quite nice on this little sample. So I just want to show you now this color on the real uh, resin fill. I would put uh, probably more than one coat, um, but it all depends on um, how well I can distribute the colors, how evenly I can distribute the color over the surface. But it will certainly be more than one layer. I will now continue um, with the painting of my resin fill. And once I finish that, I will attach it onto the glass urn uh, by using uh, Paraloid 72. If you remember, it was an, it's an acrylic adhesive, which I also use for reconstructing the urn. Uh, and after that, I will continue uh, by creating more fills for the urn uh, by making molds and casts.